this in three weeks ago. I said, mate, what's going on with the sign in the back of your truck? He goes, oh, I just put it there. You know what? Pedophiles are rampant in our society. Someone's got to say something. But the timing of it, folks, was, was indescribable. And it's, it's stuck with me to this day. And I think this is the biggest problem that we face. We don't have a problem with COVID. We don't have a problem with the economy. We don't have a problem with whatever, folks, a corrupt media. We have a problem that this country is filled with pedophiles. And they're running the highest offices in this entire country. And so if people are going to stand up on, on the 31st of August, I hope that's what they're calling. I hope that's what they're calling for. I hope that's the one thing that we unite Australians. You know what? You know, people say, oh, Dave, you've got a bit of a platform, whatever. Look, I'm no fucking hero. I'm no saviour. I'm no... I don't have the solutions to the problem. I'm just pretty good at talking, you know what I mean? But I really hope Australians, especially the parents who are signing their children up to get a jab, realise who's telling them to inject their children. People who prey on children are telling you to inject your children. I'll repeat that. People who prey on children are telling you to inject your children. You would have to be fucking mad to hand your children over to Kudos Stadium to be ushered in by police to be injected with an unknown substance organised by a gang of people who protect pedophiles. You'd have to be off your fucking head. But that's the world we live in, folks. That is the world we live in. Whilst it is in human nature to engage in conversation with others, to be friendly, um, unfortunately, this is not the time to do that. So even if you run into your next door neighbour in the shopping centre, in the Coles, whilst you're at Coles and Woolworths or Aldi or any other um, grocery shop, don't start up a conversation. Now is the time for minimising your interactions with others. Even if you've got a mask, do not think that affords total protection. We want to be absolutely sure that as we go about our daily lives, we do not come into contact with anyone else that would pose a risk. Oh no. Whilst it is in human nature. Oh look, it's an official Australian. Hello Australia. My name is Satan. You may have heard of me uh, from some different books I've mentioned in. Uh, I'd like to announce to you that I am actually uh, helping advise Scott Morrison, Janice McKeeklin, uh, Dan Andrews, and various other um, Australian politicians and people in power. Um, just want to let you know that uh, we've got a great plan ahead for your children. Um, whenever Dan Andrews decides to uh, step down, uh, I will have a new person in place to fill his his position. Um, whenever Scott Morrison uh, is no longer able, uh, I may even step in and, and be your Prime Minister myself. Uh, having Satan as your Prime Minister probably wouldn't be that big of a change uh, based on the way things are now. So just make sure that you don't speak to your friends, don't talk to anyone. Only do what we say, and we'll give you your freedoms back as soon as 80% of the population has been inoculated. Thank you, Australia. Table of petition, which has been considered by the Petitions Committee and found to be in order. It is signed by 8,782 people and calls for the lifting of the suppression orders on documents presented during the Wood Royal Commission in the 1990s containing the names of 28 political, judicial and other high-profile figures allegedly connected with pedophilia. A similar petition on change.org has recorded 31,072 signatures with more added each hour. Deputy Speaker, the petition also calls for a federal integrity body because otherwise the community can have no faith that there will be a proper investigation into these very serious allegations. And it needs to be a fair dinkum integrity agency, not the half-baked proposal that the federal government announced last week, because the Australian public doesn't want to see the implementation of the weakest watchdog in the country with investigations held behind closed doors and decisions kept secret. Deputy Speaker, public trust in politicians and our institutions is at an all-time low, and suppression orders and uninvestigated allegations of pedophilia help to explain why. 
So let's get serious about this and do exactly what these petitioners are calling for. Sure, the allegations from the 1990s may ultimately not be substantiated, but just as surely they need to be properly investigated by a strong and independent integrity commission. Anything less betrays the community. Deputy Speaker, I present the petition. You know what to do. August 31st. We're all going to be watching you. We're all going to be praying for you. Do the right thing. 